Isaiah chapter 40, verses 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. He says right here, they that wait upon the Lord. It's not like, okay, God, I'm waiting for you to do it. You know, that is not that kind of wait upon the Lord. It is you waiting upon God. God says, I'm waiting for you to do something. I'm waiting on you. And, you know, it's kind of like a, a, a server. You're a servant to God. You're waiting upon God. And not say, God, I'm, I'm just going to sit here and wait for you to do it. No, God, you got, he, said, he said, I'm waiting upon you. You're waiting upon the Lord. Psalms chapter 27, verses 14. He said, wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Again, you're waiting for the Lord. Yes, you're waiting for Him. You're serving Him. It's like a server serving a table. You're serving the person. You're serving God. Isaiah chapter 3 verses 25. The Lord is good to those who wait on Him. Whose soul seeks Him. You know, you again, it's that servitude. You're waiting upon God. You wait and your soul seeks Him. Then the party says, They shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with the wings as eagles. Eagles ride above the occasion. Eagles rise above the storms in life. Proverbs chapter 30, verses 18 through 19. There are three things which are too wonderful to me. Yes, for I do not understand. He said, the way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent on the rock, and the way of a ship in the midst of a sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. He said, one, the way of the eagle in the air. How can the eagle ride above the this, this situation? An eagle can ride above the storm. He doesn't understand it, but God understands it. Because the strength of God that renews you, you can ride above it. Job chapter 9, verse 26 they that slip like a reed's boat, like an eagle that swoops upon his prey. Again, the eagle, when he sees that serpent upon the rock, he swoops down, but he takes it to another level. He takes it in another, in, in another field. Where it's a, some, When you're fighting the enemy, when you're fighting the adversary, you don't fight him on his level. You take him to a higher level, to a spiritual level, and to levels that he cannot handle. You don't fight him on his level. You don't fight him on his turf. You fight him on God's turf. And the Bible says you should run and not be weary. You should walk and not faint. You know, you're not going to get tired. You're not going to get weary. Psalms 